now we're going to meet a lot more of the characters. So when I first put this game together, uh, I put up a website and uh, got a load of people to uh, that volunteered to help me out. Most of them did the voiceover work. So if they hadn't done that, every single character would have been voiced by me. And uh, the quality of my microphone at the time was not great, so that wouldn't have been great for the game. Uh, so thankfully, uh, it had a lot of really good voice acting in it. Uh, and in fact, Paul and Storm are real people based on some people that tour with Jonathan Golden and his friends. They also do the cruise together and they actually voice their own characters, which we'll be seeing in a minute. Hi. Um, hi. What are you having done? Um, that's private. I work here. Oh, right. I'm here for laser eye surgery. You should see an optician for that. No, having laser beams coming out of my eyes. Oh, that sounds dangerous. Maybe I should think about it some more. I'm your doctor. What can I do for you today? Well... Uh... Oh, hold on. You're not the correct person. How do you know you haven't asked my name? What is your name? Billy. No, I'm looking for Arnold. Is that backpack surgically attached? Yeah, it was done to fix my asthma. It did a great job. It pumps oxygen directly into my lungs. I just need to change the oxygen cylinder once a week. Now I can play sports, run, and, you know, not that I do any of that, but it's good to know I could if the situation arose. Bye. Hi. How can I help you? Oh, sorry, Dr. Martin. Didn't realize it was you. Could I have the files you have on me? Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't give out personal information about our practitioners. It wouldn't be professional. But it's about me. Surely you know everything there is to know about you. I'm suffering memory loss at the moment. I'm not falling for that one again. No one's ever told me it's okay to give people files on themselves under any circumstances. So, are you saying it's okay for me to give patients their files too? Yes. But, Dr. Martin, you make comments about the patients and their files that you really wouldn't want them to see. Fine. What clients do I have today? I'm too busy to talk right now. You don't look busy. It looks like you're playing Minesweeper on your computer. No, this is important work. It just looks like Minesweeper. Ah, oh, now look what you made me do. I set up all the mines. I mean, I, I lost the document. Are you still busy? Yes. Still playing Minesweeper? No, I'm playing Solitaire now. I mean, I'm working now. I mean, I was always working. I mean, I'm checking customer records now. I didn't know we had the King and Queen of Hearts as clients. Please, Doctor, I'm trying to work. Still busy? Yes. Why are Paul and Storm here? They're here for a consultation. They want a, a Gestalt entity installed or something. Bye. On the back of the Red Dwarf novels, uh, the two writers, Rob Grant and Doug Naylor, refer to themselves as a Gestalt entity. So as I said, Paul and Storm are real people. Uh, they tour with Jonathan, they do the cruise together, in fact they do most of the organising, and Jonathan is just the figurehead. And that's Jonathan's words, not mine. They have become well known for having two types of jokes. The pirate jokes and the blank is my band name jokes. Everything will become clear very soon once I start talking to them. Hi. 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 What are you doing here? We decided to go for the operation. You don't mean... We're becoming a Gestalt entity. What does Gestalt mean? 
Die Gestalt is a German word for form or shape. It's used in English to refer to a concept of wholeness. We mean we are going to become one person. What do your wives think of the operation? I don't know. We haven't told them. Won't that be a little weird? In what way? Well, how will you... What about when you... Never mind. Sounds like you need to think this through a little more. No, I think we've done that enough. Well, there is still the issue of whose junk we are keeping. There is still the issue with whose junk we are keeping is the name of my InSync cover band. Surely, you're going to have too many body parts. We're going to have too many body parts is the name of my Osmond's cover band. Aren't you going to be short a few things? Aren't you going to be short a few things is the name of my Prince cover band. Aren't you too old for this? Aren't you too old for this is my Rolling Stones cover band. This isn't funny anymore. I really have to pee. This isn't funny anymore, I really have to pee, is my R. Kelly cover band. All but the first of those jokes were jokes that they have said on stage during the performance. The first one wasn't written by me, it was written by someone else. I just was not very good at writing those jokes. What are you going to call yourself? Paul Storm. I thought we were going to be Storm Paul. Nah, that sounds like there will be other kinds of Paul, like Sunny Paul. Well, how come your name gets to be first? Come on, we talked about this. You get the left side, I get the right. It's the way it's always been. Exactly. Isn't it my turn to go first? And I'm right-handed. So am I. Well, how about we have two arms on one side? Hey, that's not a bad idea. Plus, we'd be awesome at arm wrestling. Exactly. We'd be awesome at arm wrestling, is my Madonna cover band. Hey, that's our joke premise. Never mind. Have you thought about whose house you will live in? Well, mine, obviously. What do you mean, yours? Never mind. You guys going to have two heads? No. Yes! What? Well, whose head do we keep, then? And what happens to the other person's head? Does it get thrown away? Are you still really you without your head? Hmm... I guess two heads are better than one. Yeah! Double brain power! Oh my god! So intense! Good old double rainbow reference there. It's a bit dated, but there you go. You guys going to have two heads? No. Yes! What? Well, whose head? I don't want to discuss the operation anymore. I'm starting to feel queasy. I love your songs. Especially the one about pirates. The Captain's Wife's Lament. Yeah. Well, you might be able to do us a favor. Talk you out of the operation? No. What then? We are looking for new pirate jokes. You know the ones. What is a pirate's favorite droid? Bendar. You went with that instead of R2-D2? Your favorite film? Star Wars. So we need more pirate jokes. I have a pirate joke for you. Okay, let's hear it. You fight like a cow. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That isn't funny on its own. It's a reference, not a joke. We need jokes, new ones. 
I'm out of jokes. Come back when you have more. Bye. It doesn't fit the lock. So the poster in this room changes every time you enter it. So I'm going to see what different posters we can get. 